There's been a big game culture in Maryland since about 1986, I think, when the original Microprose was founded. And that was really before there was a games industry, you know, more broadly speaking. It was still guys selling, you know, plastic baggies with uh, floppy disks out of their garage. And really early on, Sid Meier kind of found his groove and made some fantastic games. And that spawned a whole bunch of companies in the area. And I think we have probably like maybe five or six five or major six, yeah. companies. It's really been a great engine of innovation and startups in this area. Area. And, uh, you know, you kind of see a lot of the same talent combinations forming and reforming, which makes studios here feel a lot more like family than I feel like you get in other regions of the country. We've come to have sort of a hidden language of game design between ourselves that we've got our own local Maryland expertise on how we design games. And anybody who's been around here very long, you know, they, they pick that up and they start to first be able to work with us well, and then they can do it themselves. It's kind of an ongoing thing. I think we end up, in spite of ourselves, training more people to do the do things the way we do it. One of the great things about having a studio in Baltimore is, first of all, the city itself. It's just this kind of quirky, weird, funny kind of vibe to the city that just seems to encourage a real artistic, a sensibility and people that, that move into town for that quirkiness and that that just kind of spawns uh, we think really great creative industries in the area of which video games are just one of them you know one of the things that's fun about our specific studio is being able to support a diversity of lifestyles people can live on farmland in Pennsylvania 25 minutes north of here or they can live five minutes from work in standard suburbia or they can live in Baltimore City and not own a car and we're yeah. we're very excited <clears throat> to be able to, to have that that range of lifestyles. Another thing I enjoy about working in the Maryland game scene is that so many of the devs in the area have a shared background, whether it's working at companies together or going to school together, and it kind of makes for a really intimate vibe. There's a lot of there meetups that happen, there's brews and board games down in the city. While it's a small community, it's a really vibrant one and, uh, and like I said, a really intimate one.